everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here, and this video is a demo of the Cordless Marker Airbrush by We Are Memory Keepers. This is something that I purchased last year on craft day, one of the days at HSN. And I'm going to show you how some fun ways that you can use this tool to make some really fun um, accent pieces or um, decorate and paint. It looks like paint, but it's a marker airbrush onto some of these fun wood pieces from Dollar Tree. How you can use it to decorate your card or envelope and even some of these little wood like heart stickers to paint those in case you didn't want to paint them with paint. So what I'm going to show you here is what comes in the box. So what comes in the box is the actual marker airbrush tool and you charge it with a USB. So you can charge at any time with any of your portable chargers or if you have an adapter or just plug it into a, a USB port. And this plugs into the back of your uh, tool to charge it. I don't see, I might have it upside down. You just plug it in there and charge it. And then it charges that battery inside there, which is really, really cool. Then this is the part where you put the marker. Now the, the kit comes with stencils, all kinds of stencils, and also markers. And my kit came with two sets of markers because it was a special deal. So you just pick the markers that you want. And because it's um, Valentine's coming up, we're going to paint this little cute set from Dollar Tree. It's the cutest little thing with hearts coming out of it, like on a card with an envelope. And then you have this little stand. It's just adorable. And I'm just going to paint it. I'm not going to do a big, um, you know, like any kind of decor, decor. It's got plenty. And you just, so you just slide this marker into the port. And then you can test it. So just test it off on some um, paper or paper towel or whatever. So I'm I'm going to show you that this will just um, cover do the coverage, and you'll be able to see this black outline still. And this glitter is already on here. So I'm just going to give it a little brush at the bottom like this. And the longer you go over it, or the closer you are, the uh, darker it gets. So we're just going to, let me zoom in just a little bit for you. Try a different angle here for you. So I'm going to take the marker airbrush and I'm just going to go over it again. And I don't want to cover um, everything. So I'm just going to go up the sides kind of lightly. And then I'm going to take another color. So I just pull the marker out and I cover it back up. And I think... <clears throat> like a pretty yellow might go good with this. So we're just gonna put this yellow in here. And now I'm gonna start right kind of where I did, I, you know, wanna blend it. So I'm gonna put a little yellow up here just to blend it and give it like some more color. Now, <clears throat> if that's too orangey looking, you can add more of the red or maybe I'll just take a little pink. So you can just play with it. And it is the funnest tool to use. So go over here and that make that a light color. And then you can see that it turns out so cute. Now you can paint yourself. So if you don't want to do that, you can wear gloves. And the lighter colors are really light. So if you want to get closer like that, you can just do that. Now, if I want my heart there to be more of a red color, I can do that. I can take my, my red again and just put it right pretty much on it. And you can see how it kind of accents that out. So it, oh, I just sprayed. So it's really, really cute tool. And then you could also do the back if you wanted to. And 
what a fun thing. So I wanted to show you too that I just have <clears throat> where this paper that I punched out some circles and I'm just gonna put this on my my envelope here that I'm gonna be using for mailing and I'm just gonna go over it with this marker airbrush and then I'm gonna move it and you can just see how fun it is to add a little design to your envelope and it's not even a heavy thing so if you just want to add a little bit of fun to an envelope just add a little marker airbrush and I mean you don't even have to do it so much like a stencil really it just goes where you put it you know so and you don't have to tape it down you can if you want to you can see there's some overspray but then you have such a cute little envelope to mail something in. Now, another thing that you can do with it, and I'm just gonna show you here with some lace that I have. You can see this pretty lace, and I'm just gonna lay it here on my counter, my table, and I'm gonna take some of this pretty blue. This is a real pretty blue that comes with it, and I'm just gonna, let me move that out of the way. I'm just gonna take it and spray it over like this. I'm just going to do half so you can see. I'm going to take that and then I'm going to take the purple, which is a really pretty purple marker. And someone asked me, can you use different markers? I think these nibs on these markers, which is the little end part, let me show you, is specially made long for this airbrush marker. So I don't know if you can see that. Most marker air, um, marker nibs are not quite that long, and that's what the tip is called. Okay, so I'm gonna just spray this on, and I'm just gonna go in different ways around here to blend that. So now I'm gonna pick it up and show you how that turned out. I don't know if you can see that, uh, the light. Let me see if I can get you in a little bit. So I feel like it's so pretty and you can't really see it because of um, not being in person. But here is the original and here is the marker airbrush with the purple and the blue. So, so pretty. Okay, now I have this fringe here and it's really pretty fringe, but it's very, it's pretty old actually. And so I'm just gonna take, I'm not gonna use this purple. I'm gonna put that away and I'm gonna take this green and yellow. So I think I'll just do this darker green and yellow. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take this green. Again, you just slide it in till it doesn't go anymore. And then you push this button on the side. And however dark you want it to be, you just keep spraying and then I'm going to add a little yellow to give it some dimension on my fringe. And I left that other part purposely plain so you could see the difference. Okay, so now you can see the pretty... Um, graduated colors in there, the green and the yellow and how it blends, and then you can see what it was like um, before. So very, very fun. Now you wanted to see how to do these uh, stickers. I'm just gonna pull a couple out off here. I'm just going to uh, actually cut them because I don't wanna spray all of them. So I'm just gonna cut that acetate that it's on. Here's one. So if you wanted to see what just the yellow look like, yellow is very light, but what you can do is take that and spray half of it and then take the other half of maybe an orange, maybe you like orange and yellow for your Valentine's, and then just spray the bottom half and you can see how pretty that turns out, almost like a sunset, right? So let's try one more. We'll do a different color just so you can see. 
And it's just a really fun tool to use. I love using it. It's one of my favorite fun tools to use. And especially on these Dollar Tree wood items. They cost a dollar, but yet you can make them look so cute. So I use this dark blue. I'm just going to slide it in. Oop, there's my cat. And spray it. Now this blue is really dark, you can see. And I'm going to take pink. Maybe I'll take this magenta color and slide it in. I'm trying to let you see most of the colors. And then I'm just gonna do that at the bottom and then work my way up so that I don't overspray too much. And you can see what a cute, cute heart that is. So we've got that heart and this one. You've got your pretty fringe that you, that you can or lace that you can um, airbrush. Then you have these little wood pieces that you can, and then even just like a little um, envelope that you're gonna use for mailing, just decorate it up so easy. So that's the airbrush marker. It's a cordless marker airbrush by We Are Memory Keepers, and it's a really fun tool to use. So I, I, I bought it from HSN. I'm not sure if they even have it still, but I bet they'll bring it back because it's really popular. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good night.